Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with a double review. This time we have the Delta Runner Zord and Zeo Racer Zord from Power Rangers Super Mega Force. I originally did this review, but it, my time got cut in half that time, and uh, I never was able to do this. Um, yeah, oh wait, hang on, I'm actually missing something really quick. Let me go get that. I was missing something really quick, but, um, yeah, when I originally did this review, um, time got cut in half and it was a mess all over the place, so I really wasn't able to get anything done. But, now that I actually have a system, um, I'm actually capable to do this. And one thing I am looking for is I'm searching for the missiles, because I think I forgot them. Okay, here's one missile that I can show you off, because these originally came with missiles, but I think I only have this one um, with me, so. Which I keep them in my ranger key box over here, but yeah. So anyway, let's take a look at their boxes, then the ranger keys, then the figures, then the zords. So, um, birds are chirping, it's a lot better than those lawnmowers that were hustling me yesterday. So yeah, I'm getting back into the swing of Power Rangers, so here we have the box for the Delta Runner Zord. We got the Delta Runner, the Blue Ranger figure. This is where the Ranger key was. On this side, it shows you how the Ranger key works with the app. This side has Blue Ranger. Top has some of the Red Rangers on top. We got Overdrive, RPM, Ninja Storm, Wild Force, Mighty Morphin, Super Mega, Mega, Samurai, Mystic Force, SPD, Jungle Fury. Bottom is a bunch of gibberish that nobody really cares about. And the back is everything you're going to do and what else is in the line. Same ordeal with the Zeo Racer, except it has, you know, different Zord. Different Ranger, different backing, but uh, yeah. So the Ranger key included with the Zeo Racer is the, or not the Zeo Racer, the Delta Runner. Why does that fall over as I'm focusing this? Is the SPD uh, Red Ranger key. Now, very dull. This is actually the one that came in the key set, but um, I lost the original one that came with this. Yeah. Also, some of my keys in the box don't like to stay closed, like because of the spring feature. Is this is my only complaint? Because if you're opening them poorly, like I sometimes do, the legs will refuse to stay in place, so they constantly will go up in that position. I wish that had been handled differently, but oh well. Of course, it does flip open. You get the code for your um, app, and then you can also use this in the legendary morpher. And then we turn it again. Doesn't really make sense for to do the communicator beep when they didn't use the communicator beep in SPD. I wish they could have like at least gave like I wish that they had unique sounds at the second turn like maybe a different communicator beep like you know your standard like beep 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 because it doesn't make sense because the only ones that use communicator beeps were from Mighty Morphin all the way to Turbo, and I think, um, and maybe, uh, in space, I don't remember. But also, speaking of, Z uh, Mighty Morphin through Z uh, Turbo, here we have the Zeo Red Ranger, Zeo Ranger 5 Red. You know, got the five-point star, um, very accurate to what the suit would look like, but, except it doesn't have the details on it, but that's understandable. 
open it up and then you get the Zeo Ranger symbol with all the symbols you got the circle the equal sign at least I assume that's what they are because it's really small equal sign triangle square or rectangle and then I think there's a star in the middle but this thing is way too small and then of course What happened? Okay. Okay, I guess this thing's low on batteries, but it would make the communicator beep. It was working fine earlier, but I guess it's just low on batteries, oh well. Um, I'll have to ask my mom to get more batteries for this thing. But, uh, oh well. Eh, you get the point. You get the gist of it. And I didn't realize that this was so out of focus. Well, it didn't really make a, much of a difference because I just screwed up there. And, yeah. Also, these do come with two Ranger figures. They have no posability to them whatsoever. They are for looks only. And really, the looks aren't even that great because they aren't really painted. Really, all you do is you take the Zords, pegs on the... Pegs and holes on the feed, pegs and holes, and you're just sticking them. I angled that wrong. Okay. You just stick them there if I can even get it in there. Well, yeah, this is really tight. And it doesn't even make sense. Why would you drive a car like this? Yeah. Not really impressive, but yeah, you get the point. You can use the actual uh, figures that are sold separately, like they do have holes in the feet. At least that would look a lot more better than these piles of crap. So really, you can throw these off to the side, as I did right there. So yeah, one thing for sure, this never appeared in the Japanese series or in the show. It's completely uh, an original idea. So yeah, here we have the... Uh, Delta Runner, uh, um, a lot similar to the original uh, Delta Runner 1, except it does have the Gatling guns on the side of the wheels. So, yeah, and it has longer guns than the Japanese version, that's actually impressive. It's missing a lot of paint apps from said Japanese version, but I guess I can put those in myself. And I wish they could have put the logo there, but oh well does have a feature with the missile and the key. I only found one missile. What you do, you flip the key up, and you'd actually transform this into a different mode. And by transforming it, oh well. You do that. There we go. There's that, and then you'd stick the missile in here. And then you take the key, and you fire it off. And it does kind of shoot pretty far. Um, not too far, but it shoots far. But yeah, you just stick a, the key in the slot. Why is this one so rusty? And that's all that this does on its own. But by itself, it does make for a good display piece, and really, the cannon mode isn't that bad. It does look a little silly, but oh well. Now, the Zeo Racer is similar, is supposed to be a reminisce of the Red Battle Zord. Why do I say that? Well, it's got these fists protruding from the front, which makes no sense whatsoever. It's got the five point star right there so it is reminiscent to the red battles Zord, and these are similar molds this never showed in the japanese series this is just a one time uh a toy exclusive you know one of these days i swear they might actually america might actually do a mode or zord that they release in toy form but it, the japanese show never did 
I swear to God that it's gonna happen. And of course, this also does have a cannon formation. Uh, right there. There. Take the one out. Stick it there. Out and stick it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Stick it in there and then push the key away it goes. Actually, that one was a little smoother. That one was a lot smoother than... Uh, yeah, that one actually shoots pretty far, so... Enough of the missile. So, yeah. All's left to do now is, well, to combine them with the legendary Megazord. So I'm just gonna revert you back to racer mode. So let's start with the legendary SPD Megazord. So here we have legendary Megazord. And what we do to prep it is really just open the cavity. You don't have to use the key. And either, you can either leave this out or stick this in. But uh, for uh, the SPD and Zeo formations, I take this out. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these back in there, holsters. And these do actually fit, they, you can't put them in each other's holsters because of their pegs uh, are different sizes than the holes, so, yeah. Anyway, so there's that. So what you do with the Delta Runner, take off these sections off these sections and the instructions in the box do it differently but I like to put these right here I wish these things could open that would be a lot better these pegs go down and because of how it well you don't have to open the wing for this one but it's an option stick that one stick that one see you don't really need to it just fits there. I mean, you don't really need to open it. It's fine the way it is. And then you fold these pegs down on the core unit and you push it in. You kind of do this with it. Actually, is it up or down? Yeah, you kind of just shove it in there. You kind of go up and then push the whole thing in. And there we have the legendary SPD Megazord. So yeah, you can also use the guns like it does in the show. And unlike the Japanese version, which looked very strange with the magazine sticking uh, outward, this one, they actually kind of fixed the problem. So you can have it with the twin blasters. Very cool, very cool. Not 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 much posability changes. And then of course for the Zeo Racer, I'm gonna take this all apart. Take this all apart. Whoa. Okay. Not necessary. Not necessary. What I like to do with the Zeo Racer is I like to push the pegs on the top up, and you'll see why later. Um, take this. You know. Move front sections, the back sections. Really, it's similar to how the uh, runner would work. Stick you, stick you on, stick you, stick you on. And then, similar to the red, the Zeo, what was it, the Zeo Mega Battles Award? I stick those on top. Very reminiscent to the Zeo Mega Battle Zord. I think that's what it was called, I forget. 
then stick the core unit in right after you and of course yeah you pull those pegs but there you have the legendary Zeo Megazord and of course you can stick those in the hands but I'm kind of running out of time so yeah god I hate rushing these I swear to god I'm gonna get my 20 minutes back you'll see so yeah these are these swords are cool additions to your collection. Again, they might not be for everybody with how the toys have been lacked over the years. But again, they make up for actually releasing the official Japanese version with no changes. And the legacy items are pretty amazing. Even if they have Zord Builder reports. They use diecasts and all that. So really, with the good stuff like that, is it really bad to wish this thing a lot of hatred? Maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, these two Zords are pretty interesting. I'd say pick them up. But um, again, it's up to you. Might not be for everyone. So yeah, till then, I will see you guys later. Take care.